And we're back. I'm sitting here with Paul Spencer of Spencer Yachts. Paul, how are you, sir? Hey, fly. Good. We are uh, sitting here on hull number 97, Correct. or actually hull number 197. They started off at 100, uh, called the Bid Time. It's a 70-foot Spencer. It's here at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. Uh, Paul, tell us something a little bit unique about this boat. Well, this boat is, uh, this is boat number four for this family, Tim and Todd Phillips. I, this is their fourth Spencer. And uh, so they've built enough boats. They wanted, they kind of know what they want. Cool. So it's really fun working with these guys. And, uh, you know, they, uh, they've been through the process before, so it's a lot of fun. So we went through and, uh, you know, picked out some really nice stuff for them. They, uh, they fly up occasionally, go through the build process with us, and uh, just, just a lot of fun working with these guys. Now, uh, what are some of the unique things on this boat that you, you guys were able to pick out for them? Well, we did some uh, different things in the interior. If you looked at the ceiling, instead of maybe the traditional white, you know, uh, it's uh, totally different. Maybe a, kind of a manly feel in this boat. We did uh, the cabinets behind us here fly, or this is all walnut. Okay. And, uh, you know, we're sometimes it's traditionally teak. But the, the walnut gives it a really rich feel. Um, we added some burl patterns. Uh, maybe behind you up here, you can see a lot of burl accents in the ceiling, the doors. Um, some cool stuff like that. Now, um, until your son actually called me up and asked me if I can jump on board and do this live feed, something we talked about is there's not a lot of people that really get a chance to come inside these boats during the boat show. Um, it's usually by appointment only. Um, we have Cheryl here who is part of your brokerage office, correct? Yeah, yeah. We, uh, in the Spencer family, sometimes, like, these people have had four boats, and so we help them sell their uh, used Spencer and uh, helps us get a new project to work on. So uh, Cheryl does a great job. Cheryl, with that. come on. Come on in come here, on in Cheryl. Here. Come on in here, Cheryl. If somebody, uh, Hold on, who jumped in there? Hey, it's Little Cricket. Little Cricket has one of your boats from the game on. Little Cricket? Yeah, Little Cricket. I've known, I've known Cricket since he was like 17, so. Cheryl, slot up in here so people see who you are. We got Sammy Talbert just joined us from Cabo. I don't know if he's in Cabo right now or if he's out at the oil fields running one of the boats. Cheryl, if somebody wanted to uh, take a look at a, a, a new Spencer, a used Spencer, what's the best way of get, getting a hold of you? Best way for me would be our. Slide on in here. Come on, give me some love. Come on here, give me some love. Put your arm around me. I'm just the crazy Cuban. So if they want to get a hold of you, what's the best thing? Well, to call our office at uh, the brokerage office phone number is 252 423 1686. All right. Do you have a website? We are on Facebook, our website under Spencer Yachts Brokerage, and okay. we also have Spencer Yachts. Our contact numbers are there. All right. Our email addresses are there. There's the little button there. You can contact us, and it will dial us direct. So it's that's very what, easy to get. That's what I like to hear. Um, other questions is, you said you have a Facebook page. I know I just tagged one of your Facebook pages in there. Uh, and, oh, Trey called you the godfather. <laughs> the, the little cricket called you the godfather so make sure you reach out to Cheryl if you're looking for do you have any used boats and listed yes well, come on talk to the people don't talk to me talk to them uh, yeah what do you what do you have as far as uh, listed boats up well we got we've got some fit, a fit grade 59 c18 engines we've got a couple express boats that are really super nice boats that people are kind of moving up to bigger boats so We've got that. What do we got? We got another 60. Um, we have our 87. An, an 87. That's an amazing boat. So we got some stuff. Nice. Now let's see who's joined us. We got uh, my buddy Jonathan Caymans from out in uh, Colorado. I used to fish with his dad like 20 years ago. Mike Samuels from uh, Viking Service Center. Scotty Ryan. We got Patty Ross and my buddy Randy out in the Seychelles. Randy, good to see you. <laughs> Uh, I was supposed to be fishing with him uh, right now. Our schedules just couldn't match up, so I'm here at the boat show. Uh, Paul, uh, tell us some more about this boat here. How many uh, staterooms is it? Uh, how many heads is it? Well, this boat is uh, four staterooms and uh, three heads. 
but uh, it's uh, you know the staterooms are a little bigger, nice. This boat's equipped with the new Sea Keeper. Everybody likes the Sea Keeper. Everybody loves the Sea Keepers. Yeah. So uh, tons of refrigeration, freezers, a lot of cool stuff. The bridge. We may have to look at that fly. The bridge is amazing. Who wants to come up to the bridge with us? I'm not leaving just yet, but who wants to come upstairs and look at the bridge with me? Give me a couple thumbs up or jump in there. Who wants to see the bridge? Uh, i really like to give everybody a, a little pan around on this uh, interior. So I'm just going to turn the camera around. Give everybody the option to see what this salon looks like. Now, uh, I'm assuming you have all storage underneath the salon couches. We do. Let me show you that fly. We're this, coming this back. Is, We're coming back. This thing is, uh, the custom do all these sofas and there's great tackle storage. It's just, it's just full of storage. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then let me uh, come back around. Don't worry, they can't see your purse, Cheryl. <laughs> I'm not going to show your purse. So there is the uh, whole galley area, and then you have uh, a little settee, yeah. dinette area with a TV. So oh well, you got to show them the the cat bowls. Oh Lord. <laughs> okay, I don't want to throw anybody under the bus, but this uh, drink holder with the boat name on it. Uh, somebody came in during the boat show and thought this was a uh, a cat bowl <laughs> to feed the cats. And I had someone say, what kind of dog do you have that eats in that container that's so sweet? Does he fit and sleep in the little cat Well, they, bu they built the boat just for the cat and dog. So, uh, Paul, why don't you walk us downstairs and show us uh, some go. of the staterooms. All right. We I'm going to just continue talking, and you can't see my face, but it's okay. Okay, we did some neat things down the hallway, some real accents with the uh, sea rail, padded walls, ordered the salon. This is our uh, VIP room in here, Fly. It's a nice room, the bath off from that. Kind of cool thing here is... Uh, Holy moly. It goes through, so this next stateroom is access to this bathroom also, kind of a Jack and Jill thing. I'm gonna walk this way, I'll meet you around yeah. the other side. Now, this is pretty cool. It is kind of nice. Double bunks. Yeah. All right. A lot of little features in here, you know, a lot of accents, the crown molding, it, it gives the boat a lot of class, I think. It, it's definitely unique look. Now, what are, is the uh, the inside of this wallpaper? That looks like snakeskin. Well, it kind of does, yeah. What? I said it was a manly boat, you know? It, no, <laughs> man, if you got to go out and kill a bunch of rattlesnakes to put up, that's uh, pretty neat. So, uh, now, what do we have forward? Well, this is our master forward. Okay. And, uh, big television big nice master their head forward I like the master forward because it's uh it's kind of quiet when if people are rumbling around the boat you're up here by yourself anyway it uh, it lends for our, our style of boat really well all right well I think it's time to go show people the bridge yeah. all right guys cool. you're back with my ugly face now we're walking I got Paul behind me and any questions I see Jimmy Grant jumped in I've seen Jimmy a couple times here at the show. Um, we're gonna run up on the bridge. Oh, sunglasses. This is my uh, my quick shout out to Maui Jims for thank, for giving me some good glasses to wear. Uh, oh, I definitely gotta spin this around. And you guys, the bridge. Oh, actually that is really nice on the feet now if you can see here we have the console and Paul if you want to tell us about it yeah well we, we went with the really big Garmin screens that's really cool you know and uh, you can do so much with electronics now and uh, of course they chose the Garmin screen cat controls the new cat displays three really comfortable helm chairs here of course, they've got the, in the four teaser reels up in the hard top. Lord have mercy. A lot of, a lot of extras. In there. A lot of extras. The cool thing, uh, we uh, we just, everything.
everywhere we could get a little space, you know, like the bridge side there. A little extra storage in there. Love the sea deck. Tell us about this sea deck, because I really like it. I know I've yeah. been thinking about putting it in my flats mode. It's well, very comfortable on the feet. Incredibly comfortable. It doesn't doesn't hold water, doesn't stay wet or anything, you know. It's a closed cell product, so uh, you just kick your shoes off and man, yeah. it's what, nice. what a good feeling. Yeah, you know, not slippery no matter what. Great. This this is the new part for us. The bridge is gonna be so comfortable now. With the lounge. I mean That is a nice looking lounge chair. Oh yeah. Okay. Pop I'm gonna jump on, on. Up here. guys. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna finish it up here in the lounge area. I like this. This is nice. It's contoured so when you're running, uh, you can see it's up high, and you're not in the way of the captain running the boat. Yeah, I mean it's long enough for people like cricket. <laughs> <laughs> what I'd be more worried about is with his long beard hitting whoever's yeah, running the right. boat. Kind of flapping back. It could be dangerous. <laughs> I like this. This is really nice. Now, what do you got in here for power? This has the C32 A certs, 1925s. Okay. Does a good job. The boat tops out at 43. They can cruise at 36, 37. So nice. Good power. We're sitting on top of uh, all this is freezer under us. Okay. Two big freezers. Set up for traveling. Good. They just need to get this thing out there and enjoy it some. Well, I'll tell you what, it's a beautiful boat, and uh, I really like it. How's the construction on hull number 100 coming along? Oh, we're getting there. Uh, the, we've got the motors in, the cabins on it. We're building the interior in it now, so uh, we're moving along. We're pretty excited about that. Of course, I hope people will follow our Centurion project, which is hull number 100. Uh, and I believe you guys have your own page for that, which is uh, Centurion... Spencer Centurion on Facebook. Yep. Uh, I know I did a live feed up at your yard a couple months ago. So. Yep, it's doing them real well. We have 14 boats up there under construction, but we're really Lord. excited to get that Centurion out. Lord, well, guys, thank you so much for joining us here. I think I'm going to sit in this lounge for another five minutes. Uh, this hey, is pretty I'm nice. I'm thinking of a refreshment here. We chill out. That would be. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, before I let everybody go, what is this above us? Oh, that's the uh, Rod's Rod. Uh, <laughs> I lost you guys. We, we had a terrible accident. <laughs> <laughs> we dropped the phone and the selfie stick. Uh, awesome bridge from Mark. Uh, Daniel Menard, I love that bridge. And the sea deck up there is a great idea. So anyway, guys, uh, again, this is Paul Spencer from Spencer Yachts. And I'm Fly Navarro, and thanks for joining us here in the Fly Zone.